Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a Dead Man's Hand battle report for you today. We're going to be taking out the Outlaws here, and we're going to go against the infamous Pinkertons. So they are set up across town here. Uh, so we decided to go with, you know, uh, 20 points on our end. So we've got the, the boss man here, uh, and then flanked by a couple of dudes. Uh, another dude up here with his repeater to start the game, and then the gunslinger. Uh, a dude and then a varmint uh, sitting at the back there. So we're going to try our best to um, get across town here and take out some Pinkertons before they send us off to jail. So I chose one special agent, which is the guy with the little rag. He is... He's right here. So okay. one special agent, and I have a bounty hunter, who is the guy with the pistol and the blue. All right. Yep. And then I have two detectives with shotguns. Yep. And then everybody else are, uh, um, are well, I just, uh, I went at the rest, actually, with, uh, they're also detectives, but they have repeaters. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll get this going here, and we'll be back at the end of turn one for you guys. Alright guys, so turn one is over, no shots fired, just lots of movement, so on the outlaw side, um, basically had everybody running as fast as they could, so the boss man and his sort of entourage ran up and tucked out, tucked up behind this, uh, little, uh, sort of extension to this building here, uh, staying out of fire, um, the gunslinger and his sort of mini posse here just running up towards the middle just to get some advantageous shots, since we're more of a short-ranged crew here, and there's a lot of repeaters on that side, so we're just trying to get to a decent area um, and hopefully cut off some of these Pinkertons here. Um, they did come out in force this way, so hopefully we'll get some early activations. Bounty Hunters and his boys gonna go yeah. hide up in amongst this stuff. And then the other Pinkertons. Yes, all tucked up there. Gotcha, so hiding behind the building. Yep. All right, so and then our other guy here, our one repeater for the list is moved up, gets some cover behind the billboard here, and hopefully we'll have some advantageous shots uh, on this turn maybe put some damage on one of the Pinkertons. So we'll be back at the end of turn two for you guys. Alrighty guys, end of turn two here. So lots of shots happening. Uh, we decided to take a pot shot at one of the Pinkertons. Uh, did not do anything. Basically lots and lots of whiffing on our turn. Um, a lot of guys are essentially racing up here. So we got a little showdown. We got three Pinkertons and three outlaws. Oh, four? Is there a fourth one? Oh yeah, I see him. Yep. Oh boy. Um, uh, lots of running, so basically with all the modifiers and everything, we kind of just mutually whiffed and everything, although he did run up with his repeater and uh, did land even with the penalties. He rolled a natural 20, uh, but penalties uh, dropped a damage on our guy. So that is unfortunately uh, a rough one there. Passes nerve test. Other guys ran up and uh, again just trading a few shots here and there, but uh, not much happening overall. So, and then our gunslinger did take a hostage, um, which prevented him from getting shot at. Um, not 100% clear if that is just until end of turn, but we will play it as if he's still holding the hostage until something else happens, just for the. The, the, the fun of that. So we'll be back at the end of turn three here. Um, we do have to try and make some headway against these uh, Pinkertons. Alrighty guys, we're back at the end of turn three and we had a lot of deaths on the outlaw side but also um, absolutely sort of hilarious uh, cinematic masterpiece here. Um, our gunslinger with the hostage decided to be big and bold and walk into the center of all the Pinkertons. Um, he also then decided to roll a one because yeah. <laughs> and then um, the Pinkerton with the shotgun uh, passed his uh, test to be able to shoot uh, said uh, gunslinger and then proceeded to just one shot uh, kill him, which then naturally the hostage <laughs> disappeared anyway. So just uh, catastrophically bad there, um, but hilarious at the same time. And then another Pinkerton came up and killed one of our dudes. The varmint, um, seeing how things were going, decided to duck back, um, but he's probably not long for this world. And then we traded some shots with my uh, dude versus one of the Pinkertons here, so repeater versus repeater. Uh, he healed his, moved up, and put sort of the last damage on my guy. So I got to start with that this next turn. Dice have just been absolutely abysmal. Here, some better success. Actually, uh, managed to put some uh, shotgun damage on his leader. Uh, pretty solid damage there. But then my other dude here moved up. Uh, decided to shoot his pinger in with a shotgun. Rolled another one, reloaded, and then had a special card let him basically take another move uh, beyond everything as a fourth action, but just 
dice are not with us in any way, shape, or form here. So we're, we're down literally two guys and have not dropped a single Pingerton. So this is going to be bad. we got to get a really, really solid turn here um, in turn four to even do anything. So we'll be back after four. All right, guys. Um, another turn ended here, and things go from bad to even worse for the poor outlaws. So <clears throat> uh, the Pingerton's kind of moved up. This guy here uh, moved, took, and, took a pot shot, missed. Third action rolls a natural 20 and blasts our poor varmint into oblivion. Um, and then basically just trading some more shots back and forth. Uh, nothing much on our end, but our dude up here with his repeater has taken two damage now. Um, so we're going to have to try and fix that next turn, which is going to limit our return fire. Lone bright spot here, the boss has finally just had enough and just uh, basically one-shotted the Pingerton with a shotgun, but then um, has, you know, uh, just finished, unfortunately we didn't do much uh, for the rest of the turn, we did put a damage on. But fortunately his boss um, rolled natural one, so finally some bad things happening to the Pinkerton, so he's going to have to reload next turn. Uh, other than that, since they kind of wiped us out in the middle of Shantytown here, uh, this guy's running across here to um, probably uh, surround us here. So we really just uh, have to get at least another kill here this next turn. Um, somehow survive the onslaught of the Pinkertons. So we'll be back after five. All right, guys, we're here at the end of five. Um, and finally, a pretty solid turn for the Outlaws. So our boss basically... The guy that has the three damage tokens on him literally just shot him three times in a row and just put him put him to sleep, basically. Um, so we dropped that Pinkerton before he could activate, and then his sidekick here um, put a damage on another Pinkerton that the guy that was racing across the board here, and then on his second shot, uh, or f well, second final shot, uh, rolled a natural 20 and just um, hit him square between the eyes, so dropped another Pinkerton here. So now the boss man is really... Um, all by himself here as far as the Pinkertons go. Uh, another Pinkerton racing across here, put a pot shot on said outlaw, and then his buddy up here with his repeater plinked him for a damage, and then in uh, sort of a constant back and forth, the, the which one was the bounty hunter? Bounty hunter's here. Oh, oh and he's yeah. here. Yep. Bounty hunter did run across here, so we um, didn't bother shooting him, can't see him anyway, uh, but that's something we're gonna have to deal with. But the other remaining detective did put another repeater shot on me as well. So it's uh, certainly, I think, still in favor of the Pinkertons overall, but we did at least claw back uh, a little bit here so that it's not, um, they're gonna have to work for it still. Uh, so hopefully we can get lucky here with some solid activations and I don't know if we'll be able to drop the boss, uh, the big boss man here, the uh, special agent, or if we try to maybe retreat a little bit, regroup, and drop some of the detectives here, and then somehow figure out what we're going to do with the bounty hunter. So we'll be back after five. All right, guys, we're end of turn here, so a couple things happened. The bounty hunter moved up, uh, unfortunately for me, whiffed his shots, so uh, our dude here uh, up top didn't uh, suffer any effects. We, I'm trying to remember, I think we shot down, yeah, we shot at the Pinkerton, put damage on him, and that was about it. Uh, healed our own from before, and kind of just, as we've been doing all game, basically trading back and forth, so then now this turn I end up with the damage. Um, in other news, though, the, the boss man uh, dropped uh, another Pinkerton, so we are three, three on three right now, so we've clawed our way back. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was another natural 20 on him, right? Yeah, yeah, the natural 20 just uh, dropped him cold. And then our other dude here, uh, boss man came around trying to shoot him, missed. He also rolled a, his second one in as many turns, or I believe. And then our dude um, healed up and put a damage on the boss. So uh, we're coming up to, I believe, six here. So uh, last turn of the game before the sun decides to set. But at least it's not necessarily a uh, law. Uh, the law hasn't necessarily taken over the town. So we might still keep this uh, open for outlaws as well. So we'll see how things go on this last turn here. Alrighty guys, we're here at the end, so uh, draw here basically, so uh, ducked away, uh, got landed, did a pot shot at the end here with our remaining dude, nothing really accomplished. Uh, bounty hunters running at us, uh, our boss and um, other dude here took some damage, uh, didn't really dish anything out this turn, so um, uh, basically everybody kind of just running 
uh, towards the here at the very end, although this guy again, our dude up top, just um, is going to need to heal up if we had played longer or anything like that. But uh, we clawed it back here into a, a basically, a, again, effectively a draw at the very end here. So uh, very blo bloody, brutal game. A lot of funny moments, though, especially the uh, the gunslinger taking that hostage and then just getting his brain, uh, brain literally like uh, blown out um, from that and chopping the damsel <laughs> for that. It was pretty funny. And then lots of just mutual destruction over here, lots of 20s. And so, again, sort of mid to late game was uh, when the um, outlaws finally started to put some damage out and just started rolling some natural 20s and other stuff just to kill some people. And then the boss man killing one of the Pingertons by literally just hitting him three separate times in one turn and um, filling him full of holes. So fun game overall. Um, definitely Pingertons are just still strong overall with that free move that they get every turn uh, and then not really being penalized for it. So... But um, we were going to do more that last turn, but um, the Pingertons unfortunately played, oh, was it Dust in Your Eyes or something like that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which effectively ended the boss's turn. Otherwise, the boss may have had a, a realistic shot of taking out the lead Pinkerton. Um, but alas, uh, not this time. So fun game overall. We'll hopefully get another battle report for you guys soon. Uh, we're currently painting up the Kelly gang, so we're going to try and fit them in at some point as well and just uh, give them a, a test as well. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Comments if you guys um, uh, have anything to say on the battle, and we'll see you in the next one.